West Coast. I think it'll be good for us. I think it's what we need. Don't you? Ah! Jesus Christ! What are you doing? What are you doing? Why'd you, why'd you sneak up on me like that? I was talking to you for five minutes. You didn't hear me? You're bleeding. Great. Here, take a... Take this. Put pressure on. I'm gonna need a tetanus shot now. Do you think the urgent care place in Somerset is open this late? It's a little scratch. It's a rocky garden until you slice up in my arm with. Well, you shouldn't sneak up on people in the middle of the night. I didn't sneak up on you. I was talking to you. You didn't hear me? I, I, I couldn't sleep. Most people have warm glass of milk. You worry about curb appeal. You said it has to look perfect for the open house tomorrow. And I couldn't sleep. So? I can't handle two mortgages right now, especially since I'm the only one with the job. So if we don't get a good offer, what I'll makes you think we'll anybody's gonna want this house now? You've spent the last two weeks working on landscaping. It's fine. Come to bed. I'm not done. But the garden looks great. Even though Lay Arson said so, and you know how particular she is about her dogwoods. Why are you pulling those up? <clears throat> Pretty. They're not flowers, they're weeds. Really? Oh, now you're interested? After being such a pain in the ass at Home Depot? No couple does well at Home Depot. I'm not about to try and explain gardening to you. I love gardeners. Well, at least I know when something is dead and when it isn't. We made this house. We put in this entire yard. Do you remember how dried it was before? Dirt everywhere, cracked like, like concrete. Every day I wake up, I come out, I tend to it. Make sure it never goes back to the way it was before. I, parts of us belong to this house. I can feel it in my feet, in my, in my hands, like I've rooted myself here. And if we try to leave here, I don't know if I can actually leave this place. What will happen if we try to walk away from here? People do it all the time. We're not the first and we won't be the last. We'll make new memories. New roots. I really don't think we should sell the house yet. That ship has sailed, Brian. No one has it. No one's put in an offer. We can easily take it. We've already put market. a down payment on a condo. This is happening. We've already gone over all of it. We'll go over it again. Why? Why do you need to go over it again? Because isn't that what your therapist told us we should be doing? Having a conversation instead of me talking at you? He never said you Fine. talk You at said you. I talk at you. Whatever. I don't care. I don't want to do this anymore. I can't. I don't want to sell the house. And what am I supposed to tell him in Portland? Sorry, guys. I know you've given us a relocation package and everything, but Brian feels like he's turning into the garden at our house in New Jersey. So we're going to stay here. That's cool, right? We're not done here, Nathan. Yes, we are. I'm going to bed. When I wake up in the morning, I'm going to make our coffee. Sandra's going to set up the flyers and whatever else she does to sell a house. We will put on our best, most welcoming smiles and our cute outfits from Banana Republic. And we will get this place sold so we can move on with the rest of our lives. And pretend our daughter didn't die here? She didn't die here. She died at the hospital. She died here. <laughs> there was no breath. The doctors told us they had nothing to do with the blood flow. She had welts all over her leg. I told you as she needed to see a doctor. She took the Benadryl. The hives went away. They had nothing to do with the hives. We don't know that. We do know that. They told us. They showed us. There was there was no allergy in her system. It was it was a blood clot. A one in a million blood clot. But she didn't die here. She lived here. And I can't anymore. Then go to bed. I can hear her. It's in your head. She cried. She didn't cry that night. We, we would have gone out. We would have went to her. That horrible sound. Like she thinks we're never coming to get her. I know you 
don't sleep. I can feel you lying there awake next to me every night pretending to be asleep. You don't hear her? I can't do this anymore. I'm listening to her cry all the time. I don't know why she's crying. I don't know why you never hear her. And I hear her all the time. But it's making me crazy. How, how can you want to leave? If, if you know that she's still here. But she's not here. Maybe a part of her. In the playroom, in the bathtub, out here. She loved being out here with me. You put her in that purple hat, and she wobbled over to the flowers and started touching each one of them with her fat, tiny hands. Each one would get a little hello. Her favorites would get a little kiss. She thought it was so funny when I pulled the weeds out of the ground as I make this popping sound. Like a, like a cork. She laughed every time. What are you doing? I want to hear her. Right, stop. Why? Stop! They're nothing. They're dead. Like her. But the open house. I don't care about the open house. I care about her. I worry about her. How can I leave here not knowing if she's OK? I can see a look on your face. Do it again. I, 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 I can't. It's her. She left. Is that you, pumpkin? Is she okay? Sure. 